Even the biggest Orange County fans may not remember these guest spots. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot appeared on the OC. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at actors who, for better or for worse, left their mark on the 2000s cultural phenomenon that was the OC. Okay, here we go. Number 10, Lucy Hale. It's my dad, you know the valley, that's a show. You probably recognize Lucy Hale from her seven-season run as Arya Montgomery on the hit teen drama series Pretty Little Liars. Once upon a time, however, she made a one-episode appearance in season three of The O.C. Hale played Hadley Hawthorne, Caitlin Cooper's boarding school roommate, who big sister Marissa shares a couple of scenes with. Hale manages to turn an otherwise minor character into a mini scene stealer. Nice to meet you, I'm Hadley. Ironically enough, Hale wasn't the only Pretty Little Liars cast member to appear on the show as Ashley Benson had a small role in season four. Okay, so if I don't call your name, that means you're not coming. Number nine, Paul Wesley. Gino, it's a long way from home. Place is no joke, man. Remember back when the OC was just a show about a kid from Chino trying to fit in with the upper-class rich kids of Orange County? If so, then you'll probably remember Donnie, Ryan's work friend who shows up to a party and ends up accidentally shooting Luke in the arm. What's the matter with you, man? I was just messing around. <laughs> Well, as it turns out, Donnie was played by future Vampire Diaries heartthrob Paul Wesley. Donnie rocked a forearm sweatband, a fashion staple of the early 2000s, and broke a ton of stuff before being subdued by Ryan. It may have been brief, but it was definitely one of the more dramatic encounters from season one. Yo, we gotta go. Let's go. Number eight, George Lucas. I'll have a seltzer on the rocks with the twist 11. While all of the other actors on this list played a character during their time on the OC, legendary director and Star Wars creator George Lucas had the honor of playing himself. The OC version of Lucas was apparently very interested in a graphic novel Seth was working on. Just one question and I promise we'll get into the book. Um, how did you first come up with the lightsaber? What makes this entry particularly strange is that Lucas has only made a few cameo appearances in his career, though he did make one in Revenge of the Sith. So it makes us wonder why he chose a teen drama, but it's still pretty cool. I do regret not going to my prom. Really? Because it's like a seminal moment? Exactly. Number seven, Emmanuel Shrieky. So you must be Alex's new guy. Fans of Entourage will likely recognize Shrieky as Sloane McEwick, E's on again, off again girlfriend. The Canadian actress has appeared in dozens of films and TV shows over the years, including, as you may have already guessed, the OC. Shrieky turned up in a two episode arc where she played Jody. Alex's ex-girlfriend. Her arrival was actually what spurred Alex and Seth to break up, which was probably for the best. Get ready, you're next. Shrieky landed the role of Sloan soon after, so it's entirely possible her time on the OC helped her get the part. What do you want from me? I want you to stay. Number six, Morena Baccarin. Oh, that's Maya Griffin. This actress has appeared in a number of films and television shows throughout her career, including a starring role in the cult hit Firefly and her star-making turn as Vanessa Carlisle in Deadpool. However, an early acting gig was actually a three-episode arc on The O.C., in which she played Maya Griffin, daughter of Henry Griffin, a corrupt hospital board member who Sandy has conflict with in season three. The role wasn't exactly what you'd call a breakthrough, but it must have looked good on Baccarin's resume. I know who your husband is, Kirsten, and I seriously doubt this last minute invitation is a total coincidence. Number five, Amber Heard. So the stuff for the battery launch and shelters in those boxes and on this rack. Long before she found mainstream success, with roles in films like The Rum Diary and Magic Mike XXL, Amber Heard was just another actress trying to make it in Hollywood. One of her earliest roles came in a 2005 episode of The O.C. Heard played Sales Girl which should give an indication of how little time she actually spent on set. Lucky for her, though, Heard got to share her brief screen time with the show's four biggest stars. So yeah, we're pretty jealous. We close early today, so don't take too long. Number four, Max Greenfield. Mondale and Ferraro, path to equality. Before the world knew him as the uptight ladies' man Schmidt on the hit Fox TV series New Girl, Max Greenfield was bouncing from TV show to TV show in search of a permanent gig. One of his earliest spots was a one-episode appearance on The O.C. Well, if you don't want a pamphlet here, have a pen on me. Greenfield played young Sandy Cohen in a brief flashback sequence that had him handing out political pamphlets and attempting to woo his future wife, Kirsten. We're betting that Greenfield got the part due to his uncanny resemblance to actor Peter Gallagher, who plays Sandy. You know, if you're not a pamphlet reader, I could take you to coffee. 
Number three, Olivia Wilde. Hey, I didn't know you were coming by. Olivia Wilde's time on the OC was not without controversy. Her first appearance was in the season two episode, The New Kids on the Block. And while she started off as one of Seth's love interests, she would later start dating Marissa. While they shared a number of great scenes together, the relationship could never last so long as Ryan was still in the picture. Wilde, who has around 50 film and TV credits to her name, lasted 13 episodes before the writers decided they'd seen enough of the bad girl bait shop manager. I'm a huge fan of spontaneous first dates. Number two, Shailene Woodley. Mom, check my nails? Oh, I love them, Caitlin. If you don't remember this actress's time on the OC, we don't blame you. Woodley appeared in six episodes of season one and played Marissa's younger sister, Caitlin. Her role was minor, and she had few interactions with the other characters. I love China. She's the prettiest pony. Caitlin was sent to boarding school at the end of the season and didn't reappear until season three, at which time actress Willa Holland replaced Woodley in the role. Not to worry, the Golden Globe nominee would soon find mainstream success with roles in films like The Fault in Our Stars and The Divergent franchise. They actually think that they're running the government now. It might be soon. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Are you finished with your poem? What poem? The original poem that we're reading out loud. Just knew there was something about you that didn't quite fit in. Mm. In a good way. Yeah, we're gonna make it into a movie, you know, but we're gonna make the Golden Girls, you know, young and hot. Number one, Chris Pratt. Somehow Summer's rejection caused your spirit and to get sick. Our number one pick would eventually surpass even the show's biggest stars in terms of Hollywood success. Pratt appeared in nine episodes of season four and played Che Cook, a friend of Summers from Brown who most notably sang Seth a song while completely nude. All the bears will die. One, two, three, four, goodbye. He may have done more than that, including introducing Seth to his spirit animal, but that's the scene we remember the most. Che turned out to be a pretty important character in season four, with Pratt's performance showing hints of his soon to be lauded comedic range. Nowadays, Pratt's name leads to a franchise worth more than a billion dollars. So yeah, he's doing all right. Hooked on a feeling, Blue Swede, 1973, that song belongs to me! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.